Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. If you found this video, probably you are looking for instructions on how to enable USB sharing on Huawei router. Uh, so probably you want to share a flash drive or an external hard drive into your home network so you can access your files from Windows, Linux, Mac or Android if it is so stick with me until the end of the video I will show in Windows Mac and Android so Linux is the same you only the only thing you need is a FTP application and it's really easy so let's start the tutorial so as you can see I already plugged in my USB flash drive so now we need to go to the browser and enter your router IP address so 192.168.1.1 uh, for me username and password are Vodafone I don't know if your router is somehow different from mine probably the username and password will be different so we need to turn on home sharing doing this we will enable the USB port for printing and for USB sharing so you need to create a, a user and give it a, give it a password and then select if you want read or read and write okay really easy now we need to configure FTP server okay so let's browse for the pen drive so as you can see this is the pen drive I have plugged in in my router it's in FAT FAT so you just need to select the folder or the entire flash drive or hard disk drive you want to share and that's it okay but we need to not the, the FTP client we need to configure is the FTP server okay so enable it create a, a, a username create a password for the port you can use this one 21 it will work and the name so you need to search for your USB flash drive or hard disk drive and then on the root path the last field below you have also to put the name over there and after that you click apply after that we will need the FTP application and it's really easy so you just need to go to the host enter the IP address of the router the username you selected on the router settings the password you selected also there the port you remember was 21 and press quick connect so I'm using FileZilla but you can work with another application that you like more for FTP so as you can see all the folders in my flash drive are now accessible in my computer so I can select a file and drag and drop to my desktop really easy so it's there on the top okay so and you can do reverse so you can copy from your computer to to your flash drive and it works really well so the speed it's not really good so if you want to stream from your flash drive probably it will not work really well so but for sharing files at home it's a good good solution okay so if you go to network your router will be here but if you click you cannot access the files so that is why we are using the FTP server okay so now I will be showing how to connect from Mac and after that if you don't own a Mac but you want to know how to sh to assess your files from Android stick around with the, the tutorial because I, I will show you how to how to use it since 
from Android okay okay so now in Big Sur we just need to open an FTP application I will I, I'm using Cyberduck so let click plus a new connection and it's the same so we give it a name I will I will call it for the phone label it's not mandatory if you you can enter several labels and then the IP address of the router and the username we selected on the router settings for the FTP client the password and the port 21 and that's it now we just need to to double click here okay let's click connect boom and now I have another pen drive this one is uh, NTFS and it's also working so you can use FAT or NTFS it works for both formats and you can copy from your flash drive or hard disk drive from your Mac or from the flash drive to your Mac it's really easy so if you have Linux it's the same you just need an FTP application and connect to your FTP server okay now let's do it from Android so I will be using one application with FTP support RS file manager and so you have an option for FTP do a scan it found our router but it, we will do it by the IP number so select FTP enter the IP address on the server so basically it's the same so you enter the server address your username and the password you selected and click OK and now just enter here the folder you want and select the file you want to copy or delete so just copy now go to the SD card of your phone or the internal memory and click paste probably you will need to grant permissions on your phone and after that it's really easy you can also copy from your SD card or from your internal memory of your phone to your flash drive or hard disk drive so don't forget if you found this tutorial useful to leave a thumbs up leave your comments below if you require some help and consider to subscribe thank you i catch you on another video bye if you like this video please subscribe